Good day everyone. Today we will discuss about real numbers. So real numbers comprise of any number that you can think or use in everyday life. It is the compilation of all types of numbers. Each real number represents a unique number along the number line. On the real number line, a point corresponds for every real number and a real number corresponds for every point. Now, let us take a look with the image of a number line. So, we have here 0 as called origin and this will be the reference point. So, on the right side of 0 on a number line, we have the positive numbers and the direction is positive direction to the right. And on the left side of 0, so we have the negative numbers. And the direction is negative direction or the direction is to the left. Now, let us discuss the number line. So, in the number line, we can see that the largest negative integer is negative 1. And on the number line, the smallest negative integer cannot be determined because on our number line, the arrowheads here means that it is extended on both directions. Next, on the number line, all numbers greater than zero are positive numbers. And of course, repeating decimals can be located on the number line and these numbers are rational numbers. And every negative integer is smaller than 0. Why? Because all of the numbers on the left of 0 are a smaller number than 0. Now, let us continue the discussion about number line or what we call real number line. So, this is our number line. So, irrational number can be located on the number line by approximating its location. So, we can only approximate the location of irrational number on the number line. Then, decimal numbers are not integers. Take note of that. Decimal numbers are not integers and can be located on the number line. Those numbers with exact square root is a rational number and it can also be located on the number line. So let us discuss subsets of real numbers. The first one, we called it as natural or counting numbers. So what are these numbers? These are the numbers that we use in counting. That is the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The three dots called ellipses indicate that the pattern continues indefinitely. This set is also called the set of positive whole numbers and the set does not include zero. Take note that the set does not include zero. Now, let us have the second subsets of real numbers. So, we called it as whole numbers. So, whole numbers, these are the numbers consisting of the set of counting numbers including 0. So, we have this set containing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The next subsets of real numbers are what we called integers. So, the set of natural numbers commonly called the positive integers, their opposites, and zero. So, these are integers. So, we have this set, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And all the negative numbers smaller than negative 3 are the set of integers. Now, we have these rational numbers. So, rational numbers are subsets of real numbers. So, what do we call these rational numbers? So, these are numbers that can be expressed as a quotient of two integers, a over b, where a is the numerator and b is the denominator, provided that b should not be equal to zero. So, examples, we have your two-third, four, and thirty-five hundreds, because we can express this in quotient of two integers or in fraction, we have 0, negative 8, negative 5 over 4, 
5 and 1 over 6, square root of 36, because the square root of 36 is exact, so it is equal to 6, and 6 can be written in fraction. 14 also are rational numbers. The next one is or are irrational numbers. So what are these irrational numbers? Numbers that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers. It includes the non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Their exact values cannot be expressed as either terminating or repeating decimals. However, you can use a calculator to find their decimal approximation. Numbers whose roots cannot be extracted exactly are not the only irrational numbers. So, for example, pi is an irrational number which is approximately equal to 3.1415926. So, this is the Venn diagram of real number system. So, real numbers have two major subsets. So, we have the rational and irrational. So, take note that rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed in fraction, while irrational numbers are those numbers that we cannot express in fraction. So, let us give examples for these numbers. So, for rational numbers, we have 1 half, 2 and 25 hundreds, 6, negative 2 thirds, and negative 1 and 7,500. So all of these numbers are rational numbers. Now, let us have example for irrational numbers. So we have the square root of 12. Take note that irrational numbers are those numbers that do not have an exact square root. It's just an approximation. And of course, Irrational numbers are also non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. So we have another example, square root of 132, pi, square root of six, uh, 68, and a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal, 1.234123, and so on. So these are examples of irrational numbers. Now, under rational numbers, we have these integers. So, integers are a subset of rational numbers. So, what are the examples of integers? So, we have 21 or positive 21, positive 10, 0, negative 7, and negative 9. So, these are examples of integers. Then, Whole numbers is also a subset of integer and a subset of rational numbers. So what are the examples of whole numbers? So we have 0, 34, 27, 18, and 5. And natural numbers or counting numbers are subsets of whole numbers. So what are the examples of natural numbers? So we have 1. 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these are examples of natural numbers. And of course, natural numbers are also called counting numbers. So when do we use real numbers in real life situation? So let us rewrite this statement in real numbers. So first, we have a temperature of 6 degrees below 0. Since it is below 0, so the expression of this in real number is negative 6. Now, let's have a second example. We have a gain of 8 kilograms in weight. Since we have the word gain, so it means that it is positive. So positive 8 because of the word gain. Let us have example number three. So, a sea level. So, when we say a sea level, so the expression or the number is zero. Okay, next, we have 75 pesos of the original price. So, this is a discount. So, therefore, we will represent this statement in real numbers as negative 75. 
Now, let us have example number five, an additional of six points. So, we have this Q word here as additional. So, how are we going to represent it in real numbers? So, it will be positive six. Now, let us continue our examples about rewriting the statement or expressing the statement in real numbers. So, let us have example number six. So, a drop of 10 in a heart rate. So, since we have this word drop, so it means that the representation of this statement in real number is negative 10 because of the word drop. Now, let us have example number seven. So, a plane ascends 1,500 feet. So, we have this word ascend. So, it means that the representation of this in real number is positive 1,500. So, because of the word ascends. Now, let us have example number 8. Eliza got a deduction of 4 points. So, we have here the word deduction. So, the representation of this in real number is negative 4. Now, let's have example number 9. Jose went down two floors of a building. So, we have this, the word went down two floors. So, the representation of this in real number is negative 2. Now, let us have example number 10. A slice of buku pie that is divided into six equal slices. So, how are we going to represent this in real number? So representing a slice of buku pie divided into six equal slices. So, we have here 1 over 6. These are all about real numbers. Thank you for watching and God bless.